the family of a schoolgirl who was stabbed to death on a bus in crowing while trying to protect her friend from an ex-boyfriend have released a heartbreaking tribute to their beautiful soul. Aliana Andam, 15, was a pupil at Old Palace of John Whitgift School in Crowing and had aspiration of becoming a lawyer. She was attacked with a foot-long serrated zombie knife on Wednesday morning, less than a mile from the school gates. She died on the pavement despite the efforts of a bus driver, tassers by and paramedics to rush to the scene. A 17-year-old boy, who knew the victim, was arrested in New Addington in South London and is in custody. Aliana's Ann Marion told the Evening Standard that her niece had a bright future ahead. Of her Ann loved gymnastics and doing her hair. She said we are a big family and supporting each other. We are devastated. We can't comprehend the heartbreak of the last 24 hours. She went to school and didn't come home. It hasn't sunk in. My sister is not feeling good. This is a tragedy. The aunt was speaking at her home just half a mile from the crime scene, where a steady flow of well-wishers left flowers and cards in memory of Eliana. One note read Rip Eliana, you are such a beautiful soul and you will be missed by everyone. Witnesses have said that the attacker tried to give flowers to his ex-girlfriend on the bus, but they were rejected. Eliana then stepped in to defend her friend when the bow drew his blade and stabbed her. In the neck and chest, a friend of Eliana's ran towards her after the attack, screaming is my friend dead, according to the Express. Another friend told The Independent that Eliana was jovial. Very comedic can always make everyone laugh. Anthony King, chairman of My Aunts, a project helping combat youth violence in Croton, was with Eliana's family after the incident and said they were heartbroken. He added she had a bright future ahead of her. She was in her GCSE year. He also said that the arrested boy had been known to local community groups for the past couple of years. A post-mortem examination to determine the cause of death is scheduled for Thursday afternoon. Detectives have been given extra time to question the suspect until Friday morning. Aliana's school paid tribute to its valued friend and pupil and said it was offering support to students and staff. The head teacher Jane Burton said, We are deeply saddened by this tragic loss of life. Our thoughts and prayers are with Aliana's family at this incredibly difficult time.